Hey, I'm Dr. Ken Berry, family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience. And for the next few minutes, I'd love to discuss five dietary mistakes you can make that will actually lower your testosterone. Now, you may or may not be aware that there's a worldwide decline in men's testosterone levels. A lot of scientists will pretend that there's confusion as to why this is, but I think it's pretty clear that it is definitely coming from our, our dietary choices and the lifestyle choices that we choose to live, and then also the plastics that we surround ourselves with. Multiple studies have shown that what you eat and what you eat from can contribute to lower testosterone levels, and I actually am going to include a link to a lot of these studies down below in the show notes that you can check out after you finish this video. Uh, now let's jump into these five dietary mistakes. And I think the last one's probably the most important, so I saved it for the last. So you'd watch this whole video. But let's start off with number one. And uh, don't forget there are links to the research down below so you can read more about this yourself. I never want you to blindly, thoughtlessly believe anything that I say or anything that anyone else says. I want you to verify it for yourself. That one of the amazing powers we have in in 2019, 2020, is that we can fact check things. We can go to pubmed.gov, we can uh, type things into a search engine, and we can actually find out the truth for ourselves. You can actually read the bench research that's been done on these things just like any scientist or doctor could. So let's jump into these five dietary mistakes that I want you to be aware of and to stop making. Uh, men will pay hundreds of dollars a month for testosterone replacement, testosterone optimization, but that's often unnecessary if you will correct your dietary mistakes. And let's talk about the top five right now. Number one is eating soy in any form or grains in any form. So whether it's whether a food comes from soybean, whether it comes from wheat, rice, oats, corn, amaranth, millet, quinoa, any of these things are going to have estrogen-like properties. They're going to either be estrogen mimickers or contain amino acids that either mimic estrogen or can block the production of testosterone. Uh, they also will tend to keep your blood sugar and your serum glu uh, insulin levels spiked, which also will lower your testosterone production. And so uh, grains and soy products are great foods to keep you from starving to death. But if you're trying to optimize your health and optimize your testosterone levels, you would do best to avoid them. Number two is eating or drinking anything that says low fat or fat free or skim on the label. Testosterone is actually made from cholesterol. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, eating lots of good, healthy fats, lots of animal fats will actually help you naturally increase your production of uh, testosterone which is good. You can increase your testosterone for free by eating lots of fatty meat, lots of good, healthy animal fats, by cooking in animal fats like lard, tallow, uh, ghee, butter, and other things. So stop buying any food-like product that says fat-free or low-fat or skim on the label. That is not good for your health. It's not going to help you lose weight, and it's going to keep your testosterone level from being as high as it could be Otherwise, number three, eating multiple small meals a day or eating three meals a day with snacks in between. This has been shown and there's there's research links below. The longer you fast, the higher your testosterone level will tend to be. Fasting is good for raising your testosterone levels and probably fasting is the ultimate, the cheapest way to raise your testosterone levels. Uh, it's even cheaper than eating the right foods because fasting costs you zero dollars, zero pounds. Uh, you don't have to spend anything to fast. So fasting is great. Whether you do a, a, an 18 to a 22 hour fast every day like I do, or whether you choose to do a longer three or five day fast, all of these periods of not eating allow your body to clear out the excess insulin and to get rid of the, the estrogen mimicking things in your body. 
and tend to increase your testosterone level. So stop eating multiple small meals a day. That's a terrible strategy for weight loss. And it's also a terrible strategy for raising your testosterone levels. Number four is eating sugar and sweets of any kind, even if it's sweetened with honey or agave nectar. All of these things are going to spike your blood sugar, which is going to cause an immediate spike in your serum insulin level. So you, you've broken whatever fast that you had going. You're going to not increase your testosterone level by doing this. And if you eat enough sugary snacks during the day or drink enough soft drinks or fruit juices to keep your blood sugar and your insulin spiked all day, you're going to wind up with a lower testosterone level. And, and indeed, many experts in the area of optimizing testosterone think that it's directly related to the amount of sugar, uh, both both sucrose, fructose, glucose, any of these guys, even lactose in the, in the uh, fat-free skim milk and stuff. It's the sugars that are making our testosterone levels lower. Uh, I've got a couple of studies down below that show that, that the average man's testosterone level back in the 80s was much higher than it is now. And then back further back than that, their testosterone levels were much, much higher. And they would eat orders of magnitude less sugar than the average American man eats today. So you got to cut the sugar and the stupid snacks and the soft drinks out. That's keeping your testosterone low and also making you overweight and inflamed and ill in many other ways. And number five, this is one of the biggest ones, I think, is eating or drinking anything that is in plastic or has been in plastic that is above room temperature. Uh, plastic at low temperatures is fairly, it's a, it's a fairly stable solid, but as it gets to room temperature and above, especially if you heat something in the microwave or something in plastic sits in the sun, or you put hot foods directly into a plastic or styrofoam container, you're releasing way more estrogen-like or estrogen-mimicking molecules out of that plastic than you would ever want in your body, I promise you. So if your water bottle's been in the car all day, don't drink that water. That water it has plastic molecules in it that will now lower your testosterone, raise your in insulin, mess with your sex hormone binding globulin, Please don't do that. It's probably going to increase your risk of cancer, but it's definitely going to increase your risk of having low T. Uh, it, 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 when, when a fast food place puts your fast food in a styrofoam container, when you pop popcorn in the microwave, uh, the, the bag is lined with plastic. And so that, that popcorn snack is breaking multiple of these rules. And so that's a snack you should never have if you're trying to have a, a high healthy testosterone level. Um, you Using these five tips, you can naturally raise your testosterone level from 100 to 250 points for free. And then also probably lose some fat, gain some muscle and some other things to boot. So please memorize these five dietary mistakes and stop making them. If you've got a brother or a son or a father, tell them, hey, man, stop doing these things. It's lowering your testosterone. I, I had men in my clinic who would get testosterone injections every two weeks, and they were breaking all five of these dietary uh, guidelines. If they had just stopped doing these five things, they could have probably saved the copay of coming to see me and the copay of getting the injection. And then also the potential side effects of, of, of taking a, a, a semi-synthetic testosterone derivative. So if you want to decrease your risk of cancer, lose fat and raise your testosterone naturally, please adhere to these five dietary guidelines and stop making these mistakes. If you know someone who's making these mistakes who would like to raise their testosterone level, share this video with them. You can share it on Twitter, on Facebook. You can send an email, a text, a smoke signal. I don't care, but there are, there are millions of men out there who are either feeling crummy because their tea is low or they're spending hundreds of dollars to get their testosterone level raised, either synthetically or naturally, but they're still wasting that money that they could be spending on other things. Share this video with them. And if you'd like to ask me questions about this or any other topic, you can sign up as a vital level patron on my Patreon account. There's a link down below. It's quick sign up. And if you are a vital level or above patron, 
I actually do a Zoom call once a week and answer people's questions face to face. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am Dr. Ken Berry, and I will see you next time.